What's up guys, this is Corey here with Toothless Reptiles in San Diego. And um, make sure to visit our Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube account, like, subscribe. Check out our website, www.toothlessreptiles.com. And as always, keep feeding. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on this cool uh, Forma Scientific, Scientific Incubator. They actually use these things to incubate um, cultures in labs and it's a water jacketed incubator so what's really cool about it is the outside of all of these stainless steel chambers um there's a second chamber on the bottom as well the same as the top chamber um is filled with distilled water that has a rust inhibitor inside of it so none of that water comes into contact with the inside of the incubator obviously but what it does is it allows um, the electronic controls up top to control the temperature in such a way that you get very little variance in temperature. Um, so you'll set up um, the upper unit is controlled by the upper unit up here and the lower unit, you know, vice versa. Um, but you dial in your temperatures and then the temperature variance is actually about a tenth of a degree, usually less. Um, but um, what's cool about it is you know, every time the incubator turns on to heat up the incubator or if it turns off to cool, it takes a long time to change temperature because you're heating the water that's surrounding the chamber. You're not necessarily heating a heating element that is inside of the chamber and giving you a huge temperature variance. So um, what's really cool about that is it, it is obviously it makes it much easier to control temperatures when it comes time to add or increase temperature. Um, and what's also awesome about it is when you open up the door to say check on your eggs, which you usually don't need to do, um, you shut the door and there's enough heat stored in the water jacketed walls that it heats up the chamber fairly quickly. So there's a lot less drop in temperature and then a reheat and uh, that whole cycle gets minimized, um, which is very cool. But what's really awesome is all of these doors are actually heated as well. Um, they have an electrical connector down there on the bottom. And then there's a clear door, glass door on the inside that goes into the incubator. And then you have your normal shelving. But this entire area is all one single stainless steel seam welded chamber. So it's all self-contained. And um, it actually has a, uh, a circulating fan on the top that circulates the air through these areas and back out the bottom and through the other side. Um, so it constantly circulates the air through the chamber which keeps... Uh, the temperature ranges inside the chamber um, very very close so what's really neat about it is you know hopefully what we're trying to do here with the water monitor eggs because they incubate for so long you know 200 to 320 days generally my my eggs incubate for about 195 to 205 days from yoshi's clutches and then toothless's clutches are actually a little longer um but it's going to take out the guesswork so hopefully you know we can I can stop stressing about the eggs incubating <laughs> because they incubate for so damn long it becomes stressful you know you're constantly worrying about the eggs and the temperatures and blah 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 so what we've also done is I purchased uh, liquid filled scientific certified and traceable temperature probes um, so these give me really really accurate temperatures so the problem that I was having was, you know, I was using my normal digital digital temperature probes and hygrometers and whatever, and, you know, they're bought from reptile stores or on Amazon, and they're not certified, you know. So you may have all of your temperature probes, and they may all be wrong by a few degrees. You have really no idea, you know. So I brought in a standardized temperature probe, and then that is what I'm adjusting my temperatures to and monitoring them on the incubator. And then everything else that I put in there is just kind of for self-reassurance or um, just a, a, for, for reference only. Um, but then I also added, which is cool, which you guys might want to look into if you incubate monitor eggs, is this. And I just added it yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to uh, mount it yet. But it's a lacrosse monitoring system. And um, they actually have a cell phone app. And this is a digital thermometer that has a probe inside the incubator and it connects to the internet through a hub that's connected to my uh, router in the house. And it'll send me text message alerts if the temperature goes below a certain degree or above a certain degree. You can set it to within a tenth of a degree, I believe. Um, 
So what's cool about that is, you know, obviously I'm, I don't work right next to my house, um, but it's nice to know that, okay, if the incubator does for some reason go out of a temperature range, that um, especially with the water jacketed incubators, I have a good amount of time to get home and put the eggs into either one of my other incubators I have built or I can put them all down into the bottom unit. Um, I also have a, another incubator over here that I built. So I have, you know, four separate incubators as it is now just because of the egg volumes I usually have. And But it's nice to know, you know, there's some little fail safes you can put in there. Um, also, the uh, certified temperatures that I have, um, it gives you a high, a low, and a max. And then it actually has two temperature probes in there right now. Um, the temps are going to be off right now because I just started this incubator back up. So it's got to settle for 24 hours before I actually put anything in it or start adjusting it. Um, but yeah, so that's the new form of scientific incubator. What's really cool about this thing is it has plugs on the back for accessories, um, one on each side. And you can actually add a um it's called the rapid humidity recovery system so say i open the door and i'm trying to keep 80 percent humidity 90 percent humidity it recognizes that when i shut the door it rapidly recovers the humidity um and it also has um co2 monitoring so if i wanted to run a, a co2 injection system or whatever which obviously i don't but it's got a bunch of cool stuff on it. You know, that's what's that's what you get when you buy equipment from labs. Um, but yeah, so that's the latest cool little project that I've had going on here at Toothless Reptiles. Um, I tried it out in the garage for a, uh, about a month uh, to make sure that it was holding temperatures well. And um, it ended up holding temperatures, you know, like I said, within a tenth of a degree. So we I actually had to disassemble all the electronics and everything to get it into the room because it's very heavy. So I drained all the water out of it and put distilled water in it. And then we have the rust inhibitor also that goes into the walls of the where the water jackets are. But um, yeah, it's really cool. So if you're ever looking for, you know, going crazy on your incubators and you don't want to spend... Um, you know, I've seen some of the high-end reptile incubators go up to, you know, $2,000. If you don't want to spend that kind of money, um, a lot of these you can get used for under 1000 bucks. And then what's really cool is a lot of the parts and things are uh, for sale on eBay. So they have like a pick your part stuff and all that kind of cool stuff. So, And they're really easy to set up. So, um, But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the uh, new form of scientific water jacketed incubator. And um, hopefully this will keep us being successful in producing all the black dragons and hets and double hets and all that good stuff we have going on over here. Thanks a lot for your time and keep feeding.